to my journey, my frugal journey. We're going to cook tonight. I'm going to bring you along for my meal. And it is, to me, frugal because it's keeping me away from the restaurant. It's not, um, I'm, I'm not calling in and going to pick up anything. I'm not having anything delivered. It is a Chinese, we'll say, inspired meal. Um, and I do take help from the store. I don't think there's anything wrong with that. There's, to me, there's like three stages. There's cooking everything from complete scratch. There's taking help from the store and scratch. And then there's going out to eat or ordering in either way. Those are the three stages for me. And I think stage two is still frugal because it keeps you away from stage three. So what we're going to make tonight is a honey garlic chicken with some fried rice and egg rolls. So I'll bring you along and show you what I'm doing that's going to keep me home and still give me a, a nice, fun, Chinese-inspired meal. So turn around and let's eat. I've already got my rice cooking in the Instant Pot. I didn't show you that because you just cook two cups of rice however you want to cook it. So I have that going. That's for our fried rice. And then for our chicken, this is how easy it's going to be. I'm using this popcorn chicken. Uh, this is how you can store it really easily. Just throw your rubber band around it. But this came from BJ's. Look, I was counting Weight Watcher points. Eight pieces is five points. So you know that if you're doing Weight Watchers. I don't think it has the... Oh, it does have the air fryer. 380 for six to eight minutes. And there's not much left in this bag. So I'm just going to do the rest of it. And that way, whatever's left, David can have for leftovers. So let's spray our... And it says a single layer, but... I'm not necessarily a follow the rules kind of gal. So <laughs> I'm gonna pop it on 380. And it said six to eight minutes. Let's do seven. Okay, now let's start on the sauce. Okay, guess what we're gonna do right here in the middle of filming. I've already told you we were going to have honey sesame chicken. I made the sauce, and it was gross. I thought, well, I'll back up and punt, and I'll make my Asian sesame chicken uh, sauce, whatever that I put in the crock pot, and it uses a Asian sesame dressing, and then you add some honey to it, which I was going to add brown sugar. Oh, my gosh, this is something I bought somewhere called Yo Mama. It was gross. I had to throw it away. It was a brand new bottle. I put it down the disposal. So we're having a non-conventional Chinese. <laughs> it's not. It's Chinese inspired, but it's also Southern inspired. What I have is a partial bottle of Sweet Baby Ray's barbecue sauce. And here, this is where it gets even more frugal. Yes, I had to throw some food away, but I'm not messing up chicken with a sauce that tastes gross. I'm just not doing it. Because then we'd be throwing the whole thing away. Wasting chicken and all. And you're not going to hit every single time. So that's just a part of cooking. Okay, let me get all this out. Okay. I don't want to open up another bottle. Until I need it. So I took the little squeezy top off. And I've added some hot water. And we'll add that. Now, it, this stuff is flavorful enough. It's not going to dilute it that much. So I'm going to stir that around. And it's honey barbecue. But I'm going to sweeten the deal. And add a spoonful of brown sugar. I might even add a little bit more water to this. And then what I'll do is, even though I thinned it out, then I'll thicken it up and I'll still have more sauce. So let me bring this up to the bowl. Okay, it's starting to bubble a little bit. So what I have here 
is this is what I was going to put in the recipe is a tablespoon of cornstarch to two tablespoons of water I was going to add half of it to begin with because I don't want this a paste this is not that much sauce so we're going to cook it down and see if that thickens it up a little bit okay this thickened up enough see it's still a little bit runny but there's a little bit of texture to it so let me set that aside and here is our chicken I'm going to turn that burner off I'm just going to take it straight from the basket because we're going to use the basket for our egg rolls we'll get to that in a minute and I'm just going to stir these up and put them on the back burner and just let them sit and they'll as they sit there um, they'll soak up that sauce okay less I'm gonna throw the okay hold, just hold on I'll go ahead and get these egg rolls I'm just using these vegetable egg rolls these are good this type a, if that's how you say it they are good egg rolls and I always get the vegetable. I don't know why. I just feel like I don't know. I don't know why, but I do. I always get. The, well, that's just not going to go back together, is it? Oh, I didn't get my knife. Hold on. Well, we'll get our scissors. I want to get four egg rolls, and there should be two packs of this sauce in here. Yeah, oh, there's three packs. But I want four egg rolls. And then I'll have four egg rolls left for the next meal. Now it tells us to cook these in the air fryer 400 for 10 minutes and I'm gonna only do eight minutes because this thing is preheated okay oh let me tell you first just put that little pouch of sauce in a bowl of hot water and it'll be ready so I'm gonna heat up a little bit of oil I could have just sprayed it but I think I had on my mind I was fixing to do the onions but I'm not fixing to do the eggs so we want to soft scramble two eggs I think um, you could add more if you wanted to but for two cups of rice I just use two eggs I wasn't paying attention and my eggs stuck I was doing something else but I just want to soft scramble them because they'll cook a little bit more in the fried rice so let me put these in a little dish Okay, I rinsed that out. Now I'm gonna come over here. We need three green onions, but I only had two, and they have seen better days, let me tell you. So that's another frugal move. I'm saving these onions from the trash because that's how close they are. don't like the greens but I may use some today because I don't have very many onions egg rolls are done this is a very quick meal it'd be even quicker if I didn't have to um, start over with the sauce but you know what these things happen Now, I could have gone and done a whole new intro, because I've already filmed my intro. told you why I was on cooking everything. I could have filmed a whole new intro. You would never have known what had happened. But I figured, why? Why why hide it? It's, it's fake the life. It happens. So, hold on. Okay, now was when I wanted to add my all. So, just like two teaspoons is plenty. We'll just let it heat up a minute.
While that's heating up, I'm just going to get out a cup of peas and carrots. I always keep peas and carrots in your freezer because you never know when you might be wanting to... Where's my cup? Oh, make some fried rice. And that's the only thing we use it for because he's not fond of carrots and he don't like peas. But he will eat it in the fried rice. That's a little bit more than a cup, but I'm going with it. Okay, I think our oil is ready, so let's put in our onions and our peas and carrots. And we're just going to stir fry this about five minutes. That'll give the peas and carrots time to thaw out, cook a little bit, and the onions too. So. We would just do that. They're starting to brown a little bit, so I'm going to go ahead and finish from here because I don't want them to brown. I'm going to add back in the eggs and just chop them up because we just want little fine pieces. We don't want big, like we're having breakfast. So we just chop these up. I know um, this is not an authentic recipe, but this is how I do it, and it's easy, and it tastes good. So... And it's very inexpensive. Very inexpensive. I've not um, sat down to calculate the cost of this, but there was just a cup of the peas and carrots out of a bag that was like probably 90 some cents or a dollar. Two eggs. A cup of rice, which is nothing. And a little bit of soy sauce. So... You could add shrimp, chicken, pork, anything you wanted to add to it. Okay, I think that's good. Now we're going to add in our rice. Now, fried rice is best with leftover rice instead of this nice, soft, clumpy rice. But I don't have leftover rice, so I'm doing what I can do. And this is honestly usually how I make it anyway. But it, it really is best with your leftover. Let me try to get this. Now, it calls for four teaspoon, mm -mm, four tablespoons of low sodium soy sauce, but for some reason I have the regular. Low sodium is what I always get. Maybe it was a substitution or I hit the wrong one. I do that sometimes. I hit the wrong one because I can't really tell what it is on my phone, on the Walmart's app. So I'm only going to add two because I don't want to overwhelm it with a saltiness of soy sauce because you know we can add more at the table if we need to and then you just stir that around the mix get all the rice in it and you'll know when all the rice is in it because it'll all turn brown you don't want any um, white rice remaining okay so that is our fried rice and everything else is done so I'm going to make me a plate and show you what we're having. And it didn't take me no time at all. I don't know. Probably a half hour if I didn't have to start over on the sauce. So this is one of those really quick meals. Well, I did cook the rice. Well, no, I did everything else while the rice was cooking. So there you go. All right, hold on. Let me plate it up. Okay, here it is. There's my chicken, which I will actually eat this chicken. I don't know why it's different than fresh chicken that I cook myself, I don't know, but I'll eat it. Fried rice, egg roll, and this is more than enough sauce for my egg roll, but David doesn't eat it, so I just put it all in one little bowl. So there you have it. Quick, quick, quick. I think it's very budget friendly. Even um, if you did take help from the store, because what I say, cheaper than eating out. So there you go. There's my Southern Chinese inspired... <laughs> dish so i hope you enjoyed this video and i will see you tomorrow for my menu plan and grocery haul